This conference will now be recorded. Hello, my name is Dean and today I would like to provide some assistance with the use of the New South Wales State Archives and Records Authority's GA39 or General Authority Number 39. This authority is designed to assist New South Wales councils and county councils to identify records that are required as state archives, as well as to provide approval for the destruction of various other records after minimum retention periods. It applies to all records of council business and administration. Remember, our organisation provides a range of guides and advice on record keeping on our website at www.records.newsouthwales.gov.au. When you type in that URL using your browser at the top, you will see a tab for government record keeping. Click on this tab and you'll find a range of rules, advice and resources to assist you with managing your records. On the government record keeping page, you will find information on all of our records disposal authorities, which have been grouped under a link, retention and disposal authorities. Click on that link. This provides access to a wealth of information on authorities, both our functional authorities designed around each individual agency's needs, as well as the general retention and disposal authorities like GA39. Click on the link to view these authorities. This takes you to the general authorities, but if you scroll down, you'll find GA39 for local government records. To find more information on GA39, click on more. If you just wanted to start by downloading the whole authority onto your computer or to print it, there is a link to the whole authority on the quick link list on the left of the screen here. Alternatively, on the right, you will find several useful resources to assist you with using GA39. The first, part one, provides tips to understand and use the authority. Click on that link. This page provides an overview of the authority's purpose, coverage, and other useful information, such as who it is designed for, exemptions, and its structure and components. It also has useful tips on managing email and digital records. Part two provides direct access to the authority and lists all the functions it covers and the retention periods for each function. Click on part two. This page is ideal if you're quite familiar with the authority and know the function you're after. For example, you might click on the community services function and you can go directly to the retention periods for this function. For example, the community services section starts with 3.1.1 agreements and you would immediately find that records related to such agreements have a retention period of seven years. The section following part two entitled amendments provides details of the updates to the authority since 2014 up to 2019. It's also a good idea to check these as they may impact on the retention period of the records you are sentencing. If you're less familiar with the authority, the most useful link for you will be the A to Z index to its contents. For example, if you have a record in hand and you need to identify its appropriate retention period, this index provides the quickest means of finding it. Simply click on the first letter of your keyword and it will take you to the parts of the authority relating to that word. For example, recently I needed to determine the appropriate retention period for records relating to an abandoned vehicle in my council area. I selected A for abandoned as that was the only keyword I could think of. This index provided a range of keywords starting with A, and the first was abandoned vehicles. Underneath, I found a link to the appropriate section of the authority, which in this case was waste management notifications. I clicked on that link. This took me to the notification section 31.7.1 records relating to issuing notices for dumping of rubbish such as abandoned vehicles. I found that the retention period for these records is seven years. That's exactly what I needed to know. 
Using the index in this way allows you to use keywords describing your record to look up the appropriate section of GA39 to very quickly find the retention and disposal period you need. Just select the part of the index covering the first letter of your keyword and you're immediately taken to the section that is relevant to that term. We're always keen to hear suggestions for extra keywords for these indexes. So if you think of a keyword we don't have, please email us at govrec at records.newsouthwales.gov.au. It's also helpful to bookmark any of these pages in your browser so you can easily find them again. Let's try one more example. Say you were looking for the retention period for records related to your daily council finances. Under D in the index, click on D for daily. Here you'll find daily financial transactions, which provide a link to financial management accounting. Click on that red link. Here you'll find section 12.1.1, which covers records documenting financial transactions. You'll see here that the retention period for these records is seven years, so there's our, our answer. Now returning to the guide page, after the index link, you will also find some very useful frequently asked questions or FAQs. Click on that link. This page covers issues relating to GA39, ranging from its effective dates through to the authority's structure and numbering of entries. If you have a question, chances are it's been asked before, so you'll find your answer here. Finally, if we return to the guide page, we can access linking tables, which translate the sections of previous authorities into this latest authority. This is helpful as GA39 has been regularly updated since it was released in February 2011. The linking tables are useful if you're more familiar with the previous versions of GA39 and want to see how these translate into the current version. Click on this link. This takes you to further resources to assist you in translating the previous authority, GDA10, into the various classes of GA39. It includes consolidated links, a summary of changes, summaries of new entries, those that remain unchanged, and those entries that are now discontinued. Before I finish, I would like to make sure that you're aware that GA39 does not cover childcare services. You need to use FA404, covering the provision and regulation of childcare services. FA404 can be used by any New South Wales public office that provides childcare, including councils. Again, this authority is accessible via our website in the index under C for childcare. One final thing, are you aware that councils may also use GA28 to further assist in their management of records? GA39 should always be applied in the first instance. However, GA28 can assist in sentencing administrative records in areas like committees, community relations, or fleet management, for example. Please note GA28 does not override any approved minimum retention periods of GA39. However, if GA28 identifies a longer retention period to a disposal class found in GA39, we advise retaining the records in accordance with this longer retention period as this will align more with current record keeping requirements. I hope this webinar has provided help with using GA39. Check out all the links I've shown you, as well as the huge number of other resources and guidance available at the New South Wales State Archives and Records Authority's website at www.records.newsouthwales.gov.au. Also, if you have any feedback or suggestions for keywords for our indexes, just email us at govrec at records.newsouthwales.gov.au. That's it for today. Goodbye for now.